Hi everyone, thanks for joining me today. Hope you're all doing well out there. So today we're following on from the last video. The last video was, you know, marrying a Filipina and helping her parents, you know, financially. And what happens? So now you've got, you're, you're paying your, your money to the parents and all of a sudden now the siblings have come along and asking for money as well. How do you handle that and what do you do? Stay tuned. We're back shortly. So, you've got that dilemma. Um, it's probably maybe something you haven't spoke to your, your Filipina about and you want to know what you should do when the relatives, siblings and relatives come asking for money. And they probably will, especially at times when they, they may, may genuinely need it. And what do you do and how do you handle it? So, first thing I suggest is that you handle it together. You're not there making all the decisions on your own. You sit down again and you work out your budget. Can we afford to help? Should we afford to help? So, to me, issue for the woman, for the Filipina is helping her parents. That that is the number one priority. And so, you know, really from that point, it's a case by case basis. The same as it would be in a Western country with your with your own family if your sisters or relatives came asking what would you say to them and again it works out it comes back to how much money you actually have and how much you can spare what your expenses are and what you have left over it, obviously if you have nothing left over you're not again going to be able to help and you shouldn't get behind in um, your own payments and or miss out on anything because you have to help somebody else so it can be a very difficult subject and sometimes if um, you say no to the family members they will get a bit cranky and they might not even talk to your Filipino wife for some time. Um, so it, 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 as I say it's a touchy subject but you've got, to, you've got to stand firm, you've got to set your ground rules with the, with the, the sisters and brothers. Um, sure if you can help and you, and you feel it's a good reason that they need the money for help by all means but don't feel that you have to and again with your with your filipino wife set those ground rules early and stick to them and you might find that um you know after a period of time uh, they will get to understand how it works you got, what what they what the relatives back in the philippines see is is that you're living a good life that you're you know you look rich to them and of course they think oh well you know a few thousand pesos here and there is not big deal to them but when you when you what the, what they're not seeing is in the in the west the expenses that are involved you know you might get a larger wage but the expenses are also far far higher so your money it doesn't go that far a lot of the times unless you unless you're on a really really good wage so you can get a lot of requests from the family so be prepared for that if you're going to marry a Filipina be prepared in advance and even discuss this in advance same as you did in that previous video that I, I spoke about um, about the parents helping the parents speak in, in advance before you get married about how much help can we give your family you know your siblings your your cousins and you gotta remember the family system is far larger over there than it is here you know cousins uncles nieces nephews they, they stretch right out and so if you're going to be helping every one of them you're going to have no money left at all you're going to, you're going to be broke so it's not a possible it's not possible to do that so you've got to be you got to be really uh, firm and set those ground rules between you and your and your wife, and uh, they will get to understand that, and they will understand eventually that you know you live in that country, but you're not actually rich. So I hope that this has helped, guys. Um, some of you who might be contemplating getting married or being in a relationship with a Filipina, these are some things to consider and to chat about prior to marriage. So. 
and, and get common ground if you like so that way there's less stress and worry down the track all right guys short video but i hope you've enjoyed it and i hope you got something out of it leave your comments below uh, share the video around to anyone who might be interested in it uh, and also subscribe and hit that notification bell to get more videos as we go along thanks very much guys take care bye for now